everyone and welcome again to Comimatic. Today we will break down the origins of Robert Reynolds, otherwise known as the Sentry. Just after the Second World War in the year 1947, a team of American, Canadian and Nazi scientists were brought together for one single purpose. The Americans and the Canadians had previously created successful super soldiers, namely Captain America and Wolverine. The original formula for the super soldier serum was lost, along with its creator Dr. Abraham Erskine and the Weapon X program, which was the Canadian Super Soldier program, was also a one-time success because, frankly speaking, Logan was the only one who could survive the procedure. So, they began Project Sentry with the goal to recreate a Super Soldier serum a hundred thousand times more powerful than the original. After 30 years of work, the project showed no results and slowly became sidetracked. No one was interested in the research and the security of this research had gone to hell. Professor Cornelius Worth was still working on it in his personal lab as a side project. Enter Robert Reynolds. A freshman at the college the professor taught in. He used to help out the professor in his lab. It turns out Robert was schizophrenic, agoraphobic and delusional. And as if that was not enough, he was also a drug addict. So one fine day he took a vial of the serum which was lying around in the professor's lab and drank it up in hopes of getting high. He got high alright, he felt a rush like never before and just like that he became the most powerful being on the planet, the Sentry. So getting high gives you superpowers. Huh, interesting idea. Well, the serum changed Robert in unimaginable ways. It granted him the power of a million exploding suns. He has a wide array of superpowers including the run of the mill, super strength, speed, stamina, durability and along with his physical powers he also became arguably the most powerful telepath in the Marvel Universe, easily in the class of Professor X if not more. And to top all of these he can also manipulate matter emit and absorb infinite amounts of energy. So yeah, he is basically invincible. He is as powerful as he feels. If Sentry has any weakness, it is his own mind and emotions. You see, the serum not only enhanced his powers but also his schizophrenia. So he developed a dual personality one being sentry and the other being this infinitely powerful and evil entity called the Void. The Void was so powerful that to defeat him, who is a part of Robert's own psyche, he made the whole world, including himself, forget about the sentry and about his adventures with, with the Fantastic Four, Spider-Man and many other heroes and basically rewrote history to erase the Sentry and consequently the Void. Many years later, on one night, a middle-aged and overweight Robert starts to remember his days as the Golden Guardian. This is where the story of the five-part miniseries of 2000 named Sentry starts. It's, it's a hell of a book, you should definitely give it a read. In many ways, Sentry is Marvel's answer to DC's Superman, posing a very important question. How can a man with such godlike abilities maintain his sanity? Well, that's it for this video. Are you a fan of Sentry? Be sure to let us know in the comment section below. Hit like and share and subscribe to Comimatic. 
Thanks for watching.